Hi friends, my name is Heather. Thanks for clicking on my video today. Today I'm doing a collaboration video with my friends Mrs. Gigi and Sylvia D. I will be linking both of their channels down below in the description box. Each week we take a item or a prompt and we all do something with it. So this week it's going to be fabric. This is hashtag Thursday Crafty Friends if I didn't say that already. So I am not going to be finishing projects today. I am just going to be showing you a few things that you can do with fabric, even if you are not big into sewing. I have not gotten big into sewing yet, and I might later on, but right now I'm not. So I still love to use fabric in my projects, and I'm going to show you a few things that you can do. Now, I cut a string, and I cut it as long as I wanted to. Uh, where it will fit across a hutch I have over here and I tied little circles on the ends like this. So this is going to be a fabric banner. Now I did make a fabric banner using a bunch of clothing that were my kids and cut strips and did this same thing and I have it hanging up on my wall over here. But I found this fabric at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and it was a pretty big piece there was that and then I cut a bunch of strips here and I love making fabric banners it's something fun you can do and it's easy and you can get it done pretty quick so I'm going to show you how I do it of course you could put it across here and you could hot glue up here and you could even cut like a spot out here where it would be you know like a normal banner. So you could do that if you wanted to. And like cut a triangle out here is what I meant to say. So um, I'm not doing that. I actually am going to take this and I'm going to do it like I would do a um, a tag. So I fold it over like this, try to get it about even at the bottom, doesn't have to be perfect, and then I do this. And then I put it got to put it behind the string I believe <laughs> and then you put it through and then you pull and then you have a little I actually did it backwards from when I did this one so you have a little thing you see I did that one I did that one backwards so you want to make sure that it's going the same way so apparently I need to Put it across there and do it from the front maybe hopefully like this there we go so now we have another little piece on our banner I actually use all different fabrics like I said that use you know clothing that used to belong to my kiddos so it's very you know colorful and different fabric this one here I think I'm just gonna do all the same because I love this fabric it's got cute little clouds and cats and rainbows and coffee um, little coffee cups on here a little cassette tape I can't find the coffee cup there there it is okay so it says need coffee so that's all you do is just put it through like you would do a tag and you can make a cute little banner and it doesn't take that long. Now for some reason my phone keeps on um, stop recording at like 33 minutes and then it stops and then it starts another video and then I have to splice it together so I'm going to try to do a few things to show you some ideas without having um, to do the splicing thing. So, of course, you can, I just grabbed numerous fabric pieces out. You could just take a fabric piece and you could just, you know, cut a heart with it. Now, Miss Janet Nash, she makes beautiful hearts. And, of course, she sews them and puts, like, some stuffing in the middle, I think, maybe, or numerous layers of fabric and adds little pretty things to them and they're just beautiful little hearts but 
I love them. And also, Aunt Bex, she makes beautiful hearts also. They're gorgeous. I received one recently and I showed it on a video and I showed one that I got from Janet too. So you can do things like that, but if you're not, you know, big into sewing, you can still just cut a little heart. out of fabric and you can put it on a page you can cut a bunch of them and make like a mixed media page with paints and add these on you can put it on a tag or let me grab one you could put it on a tag or whatever you want to do and it looks really cute so that's another thing you can do now um i actually have a piece of fabric here that was a piece of my children's clothing and I was thinking I could actually attach this to a tag and I could go in my new little owl journal the one that I've, I'm just making with printables and things not the one from you know owls from friends but I was thinking I could just attach it onto this tag now I'm gluing my tag to the table so don't do that <laughs> so I have this double sided tape here and it actually works really good you could probably use tacky glue or fabric tack or you know something like that but I just have this out right now so I'm going to try to use that but you could just take your piece of fabric especially if it's a one that you, you know, love and it's got a memory attached to it, memories, you could just put it down on a tag of whatever, you know, whatever size you want to do or shape. I just have one that I just, you know, it's a rectangle. So you could do that and then you would want to make sure it was glued really good and then you could cut around it and that's what I'm going to do and then I could add things on top of this like put a little one of the little owl printables or I have some owl fabric um, in, a, in a drawer and I could cut out a little owl or something like that and put it on here to add but I'm just going to cut around this. Here we go. I love this collaboration because we're always using different things. I think that's a lot of fun. So here we go. We've got a little, you know, tag thing started here with some fabric. You could use whatever fabric that you wanted. And I literally just taped it down. Now a while back, last year sometime, I actually covered a whole layup shade with different pieces of fabric that was, you know, that belonged to my children. And I did not sew it at all. I used hot glue and just hot glued fabric pieces all over and did like a collage and it turned out really cute. I actually have it right over there. And I love that. And I had gotten the idea from Janet Nash. She had made a beautiful lampshade. But of course she did sewing and all of that on her. She had it all out. And I think it was, um, I think it had like uh, backing and everything on it. And she sewed everything. It was so pretty. But like I said, I'm not huge into sewing. So... I did my own little version and I just used hot glue and glued pieces all over a lampshade and it turned out really cute. So now you would just want to like put a hole through the top so that you could, you know, put um, your string, uh, whatever you call that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, ribbon or whatever you like to use. I'm trying to grab a piece down, grab a piece out right now. Got it down below me. This, it's kind of bright for that. Let's see. 
Okay, this one would work. And then I'm going to try to get this to go through that little hole there. Not positive that I can, but I might have to make the hole a little bit bigger. But I'm just going to stick it through there. When you all are watching this, I am actually going to be on a trip. So I am recording this a little ahead of time so I can still put videos up, have videos go up while I'm gone for a while. Oh my, how long does it take to do this for a normal person? A lot shorter time than this. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Heather, come on now. All right, so we're going to use these scissors, and I'm just going to poke it through here. Now, why didn't I do that to start? I don't know. <sighs> okay, so we're just going to stick this through here. And pull it. And there we go. We have the start of a little tag. Of course, you don't have to add anything else to it. Kind of like a little memory tag because, you know, I used sentimental fabric. So you've got this. There we go. And you could actually write on the back or whatever and just use it as a journaling tag but you know you could definitely put something on it not that because that doesn't really match but something down here on a corner would be really cute let me grab this new little journal that I started and it can actually go in here it's got the cute little colors kind of like that one like these you know these pages so it could just go in here course you would want to make sure that it was glued down really good this is just an example so there we go so we've got a little fabric tag thing and or a journaling card and you could write on the back so I'm gonna put this to the side um, that's the same kind of idea with this I've got another little tag and this is actually a piece of fabric I've had for a long time so you could glue down this I saw the cute little bunny and Easter will be coming up soon so you could take that and glue it down and cut around it and I mean you could still sew through it too you could sew around the edges or whatever you wanted to do but that would be really cute with this little bunny on there especially for Easter just you know attach it down good with um, good glue <laughs> that works really well and then also when you have a piece of fabric like this one here, like I was using for the banner, there's a bunch of little cute things on it. So you could definitely cut out something like just a little piece, you know, like that. And you could put it in your, one of your journals, your daily journal or whatever. Or like I have this little coffee journal so I could cut that out and add it onto a tag or something or even at the bottom corner of a page. That would be cute. Just stick that in there. Um, let me put that to the side. Got so many projects going on right now. So there's a lot of things that you can do with fabric, even if you don't sew, like I was showing. Um, like I said, I did the, uh, the lampshade and I'm trying to think what other things I've done with fabric. Um, oh, ta tassels. I actually rip up fabric, like I'll cut it like this or rip it and then use it for, attach it to a tassel uh, like I have here. Here's a tassel. This was actually a piece of clothing of my daughter's. And right here is a piece of clothing that was a part of their, one of their tie-dye shirts and I cut it and attached it and Put it on a tassel so there's just so much you can do with fabric I'm sure there's a gazillion other things that I am not even thinking of now 
but um, where is, let's do something with this. Let's just get a little spot right there that's coming up. Let's see here. Thank you all for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. That one's just a little bit big for that, huh? There's green. Okay, well, we can do that. We can add this on there. Let's, let's do it. I love making tassels like the one I showed you. That's so much fun. I've got a lot of those. That's a good way to use up fabric and especially like you can use, you know, sentimental items that you want to keep around for a long time for that and for a banner. That way you still have the fabric. Uh, my thing's coming apart. That way you still have the fabric, but it's not just sitting in a drawer. So it's a fun way to use it and then actually be able to, you know, look at it being used like the lamp that I made. That's always fun to look at. Okay, so kind of looks good when you rough up the edge. I should have done that to begin with <laughs> on purpose. So we've got a little tag started. Let me find my little punch because I know this is going to be way too small for me to get any ribbon through when I'm ready. All right. There we go, and I might put one of those little um, protector things around that so that it doesn't rip. Sometimes I add one of these little doodads on here, and sometimes I'll put one on the back side also just to kind of protect it. And you can you know, cut across the top and kind of cut the edge off if you want to. Let me grab. You could put like a little ruffled piece of fabric going across the bottom. That would be cute too. Something like that. I grabbed a button here. Or buttons. Let me find a button that I think would look cute. Here's like a yellow one. so many buttons. Usually I end up dumping this whole thing out trying to find a button that I want to use. That would be cool except it's got that thing on it and I don't have any of those plier things in here to pop that off, that back off of it. You know you could just, you could actually add a button and then you could sew right through the middle part and that would make it look you know cute too because you can sew a button on really quick I just don't want to sew around the whole thing there so let me put a little dot of hot glue get it to stay there's that See, my videos turn out longer because I don't know what I'm doing half of the time. Like I always think I do and then I change my mind right in the middle. So one second I'm going to get some thread. Okay, I am back. I actually just went ahead and found the thread and went ahead and just sewed the button on here. So that adds a little cute something. Of course, you could go all the way around it too, but like I said, I'm not big into sewing. Now I have cut a ribbon, and I'm going to put that through here. It kind of matches the heart. Let 
There we go. So now we've got a little tag with some ribbon and you would not have to sew the button on. You could just glue it, especially if you use smaller ones, smaller buttons. But there we go. So here's a little tag. Let me turn it this way. Sorry, I keep forgetting that I need to turn it. So nothing great, but it's cute and it can be done in just a minute, a couple minutes. Now, this was another item, a <laughs> thing that I made. I don't know if you were watching last year. This part looks like yuck, yucky, so don't pay attention to that. But I actually took a piece of fabric that was my kids' pajamas, and I covered a coffee can and the top of it, and my friend Anita crocheted me a little thing here, and I covered this coffee can, and this is my little sewing kit. So... I could actually take that on a trip with me and, you know, so if I wanted to, if I was big into sewing. I'm really wanting to get more into it, but just right now I haven't had a lot of time for that. So anyway, so I, that is going to be my video today. There's all kinds of things you can do. I'll try to put a thumbnail up of a few fabric things that I've done um, just to show you all. But I thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go watch Mrs. Gigi and Sylvia's videos, pretty please. And I will be back with another video very soon. Bye. Have a great day.